Welcome back, Watson. I assume your patient is fully recovered. He does quite tolerably hands. But I'm quite fat. I could do with a pair of slippers and a Miss Hudson will have some supper up directly, I'm sure. Holmes made the same depth of observation when examining a criminal or a victim as he did when measuring and recording the boiling points of a set of unidentified chemicals. What do you make of them, Watson? Electrical burns, Holmes. I cannot disagree with the attending doctor's verdicts. Electricity travelled along lines of conduction. Watson, the pattern of burns would be, let's say, streaky. These burns have clear epicenters, you see. They seem to spread like... Fungus? Yes, exactly. This is a biological infection. You know what is alarming, Watson? The rate at which this bacterium is multiplying. In, a, in another day, they would have overflown the dish. Holmes, there's been an accident in the new underground line. The burns are the same as the last. Miss Strad, even you can work this one out. Why would our mastermind want to unleash flesh-eating bacteria which multiply quickly on the London underground? Entering the dark, dank tunnel, I noticed the tools, work which had been left half-finished, and the same slime that Sherlock had tested lying in puddles on the floor. As we neared the scene of the latest crime, we were conscious of a low moaning, and I could tell Lestrade was alarmed to hear it. Oh no, Holmes. The victim's dead, and the only person that should have been down here was the bailiff. I was left to deny anyone else access. You don't think. My word. Never make conclusions without analysing the available data. This one has a note. Let me see. Watson, get this man to a hospital. It shouldn't take him too long to isolate an antidote with the notes I made on the bacterium. Send for them at Baker Street immediately. In the case of the discovery of radiation, you have stopped my plot, but you are so very far from stopping me, Holmes. So very far. This was for me but part of a many spiralled web of crime. Ah ha ha! Nor will you be surprised at why I did it, because it's the same reason you will take no pleasure in the news report that Sherlock Holmes has solved another great mystery. Because it won't mention your involvement. Oh, Holmes, you lie. But we both know why. Because it's just too easy. It's the same reason I'm going to let you go back to Baker Street unharmed. Even though I got the building surrounded. The same reason you could have brought half of Lestrade's Scotland Yard. Yet you came alone. The same reason you and I both, before we go to sleep tonight, will think providence for crime. Contemplating London, our great city at night. 